I am not okay. <laughs> Hello there and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel if I might say so. It is quite a pleasure to have you here. I'm Vicky. Today is a very special video that I was very excited to film because we have reached 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. We're gonna do a little Q&A session. I, as last time, printed out your questions already dropped one and in the background right behind me you can see my youtube play button an actual silver play button i'm 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 yeah i'm i'm not okay we're gonna start with the questions i'm gonna draw them randomly and respond so let's just hop right into it right shall we let's not waste any more time question number one what's your favorite planet favorite flower and animal my favorite planet is uranus because it sounds my favorite planet is probably planet Earth. I like this planet and I like what it has to offer. If I had to choose anything other than planet Earth, Yarth, I would choose Mars because it seems very chaotic and very cray cray. Favorite flower, absolutely lilac. I love lilac. I love anything to do with lilac. I'm sad it only blooms for so short. I love the scent. It's my favorite scent ever. I love the color. Also my favorite color. <laughs> I'm just a reincarnation of a lilac flower that died. I really love lavender. I love rosemary. I love, I love a lot of plants, which is kind of ironic considering that I can't keep them alive at all. I just maybe kind of kill them sometimes. My favorite animal has to be cats just because I have four, but I love all animals. <laughs> I don't know why. I just thought this was funny. The question is just yes or no. Yes. 100% yes. I hope I didn't just sell my soul. This is a weird question, but if you had to kill Dumbledore... <laughs> But if you had to kill Dumbledore, how would you do it? <laughs> For legal reasons, this question will not be answered. What video was the most fun to make? This question, I actually got more than once. <laughs> the German Hogwarts character I just love. I, <laughs> I like her. I like being her and joking around as her. My birthday video I really liked. I... I like them all. I'm sorry, I'm very indecisive. Any question of, oh, what's your favorite XYZ? Yes. Is your hair actually ginger or did you dye your hair? And if you did, what was your original hair color? I am ginger. This is my natural hair color. This is how I, I escaped my mother's womb. I did dye my hair before. I dyed it brown and dark brown. Listen, the thing is with dyeing your hair when you're a ginger that I didn't fully think through is you get roots. I just had the dark brown here and then just the random red roots. <laughs> So I'm not dying my hair again. What I did do though, I had the, the Narcissa inspired blonde strands. Surprisingly, as my hair was growing out, it looked really cool. For some reason, blonde and red blends together, in my opinion, pretty well. I like that. I like that a lot. Are you actually German? Yeah. Did you see Cold Mirror's Harry Potter parodies and or listen to her fan piece? I gotta, I am sort of, I gotta interrupt you right there. I love Cold Mirror. She's so funny. And I think in many ways her humor shaped mine as well growing up. Chef's kiss. Favorite classic Disney movie? The Lion King, Mulan, The Little Mermaid, and Beauty and the Beast. Why you always curse Neville? What Harry Potter character do you see yourself as? <laughs> I would probably be a mix of Fred and George, Book Ginny. I'm not a Weasley. I'm not a Weasley! <laughs> I'm just a combination of Weasleys. Because I was also going to say Ron next. <laughs> No! What are your hobbies other than torturing Neville? I really like sewing. I prepared some stuff here, so oop. I'm, I'm, I'm still practicing. So this is, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but this is a dress I made. And it's, this is like the, the little, little arm, the <laughs> sleeves. And it's, it's a little dress. It's like a little cute summer dress. But obviously this was made from very old fabric, so I'm not wearing this. It was when I first practiced making a shirt. As you can see, I've used various fabrics for this, but this was a shirt I made. I'm still practicing. I also really like making candles. The problem is all of the ones I've made that I have at home have already started melting. Yeah, this is not... <laughs> they're not doing so well. Oh, they smell so good. This is a red candle I've made. I hope you can see. I like putting stuff in them. I wish I could send you guys scents. I wish I could just... <laughs> this looked really pretty, okay? This is a lavender candle that I've made. And the lavender that I sprinkled on top just gathered there. Is it a fire hazard? Possibly. And I also collect crystals. You can see one here in the background. This is a lavender quartz. I love 
this is really beautiful. This is my favorite ever, ever amethyst. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. I was gifted this and it's just one of my favorite gifts I've ever gotten because I don't know, it's it's so nice. It makes me so happy. I don't know if I'm part bird, if I'm part sparrow or part crow that I just like collecting shiny things. This is another amethyst I have. This is Labradorite. Lab I don't know how to pronounce them in yeah, okay, you can see here it starts. The color appears when you move it around, and I really like. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, any stone I show you, I'm just gonna say, look, I love it so much. This, I love it so much. It's so beautiful. This, oh, look, I love it so much. It's so beautiful. This, oh, I love it so much. <laughs> so I can just show you all of my crystals. I, I love them. I love them so much. <sighs> Tell us more about your background. Where do you go to school? What do you do now? Where do you live? I went to drama school for three years and after that I did a 10 week voice acting workshop which now means that I'm a trained actress slash voice actress and I've literally just last month started working in that field professionally which is kind of scary and exciting at the same time. I really love it. I'm so beyond happy doing that and I live in near Berlin. Be honest, are you a descendant of the Weasleys? Do you ship Dremione or Drary or Hinny or Romione? <laughs> I ship Snictory. <laughs> the Cape. Yes. <laughs> sue me. Sue me. What's your favorite food and drink? What kind of snacks do you like and dislike? My all time favorite food is tacos. Just because I love how interactive it is to just, oh, I want some lettuce. Oh, I want some tomato. Oh, I want. It's so much fun to me. But the hard shell tacos, not soft, soft shell. Hard shell tacos that I can put together myself. I love it so much. Favorite snack is chips and you. Favorite drink, I think, is Club Mata. It tastes kind of like liquid ashtray. It's a mix of kind of nasty and really tasty, and I guess that's what I like. <laughs> that was all the questions I had for today, and now we're moving on to something that I've been waiting for so much. It's the, the play button is right behind me. I'm actually gonna touch it now. It's surprisingly, it's more light than I thought. The gray thingies, they weren't on there previously. I just had to cover my dress. But this is it. This is the play button. Man, I haven't seen it yet because I was waiting to do it in a video. So I don't know. I might cry. I'm, tr I'm gonna try not to, but I am just so excited to see this. And I, I got some scissors. Yes, I got I got tiny scissors. I'm actually opening it. Snip, snip, snip. Okay. I cut it open and I'm very carefully. Oh god. <laughs> da -da -da. It's like a little pizza box. It's it's covered nicely. And oh there's a little there's little oh there's a little, a little notes. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want to oh, I'm, I'm crying, no! Get back there! Ah, uh, okay, and we want to, ah, uh, ah, uh, we want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged by, with great care, by Rick. Thank you very much, Rick. There is also an email address in case anything was damaged during shipping. And now a letter from, oh, this is nice and, oh my god, oh my god, I see it. Oh no, oh no, ah, uh, oh god. Huh. Trying hard not to cry, but I'm gonna cry anyway, look at it, I can't. Oh god, this is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't speak properly. Before I take that out fully, I'm gonna read the letter that we got from YouTube. Do you remember your first subscriber? Your hundredth? Your thousands? 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 Subscriber? Chances are you do. And we know that you'll definitely remember your hundred thousands. I can't speak. Subscriber! <laughs> Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe you showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed and their numbers increased because you and the com- Huh? I didn't think I'd ever upload a video of me crying, but I'm- I'm a little emotional. Don't let that give you any wrong ideas. Usually I'm, you know, buff. <laughs> I'm a buff. I'm a man! Uh... Don't mind me crying. It's merely a physical reaction. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed and their numbers increased because of you and the community you've built. We're proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers. 
with <laughs> ah, with the Silver Creator Award. Congratulations. We know that you may have more stories to share with your community and we know your fans can't wait for you to amaze them with even more, amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see what you will do next and we're here to support you along the way. And who knows? When you reach your millionth subscriber, we may just write to you and ask, do you remember your 100,000 subscriber? You're sincerely Neil Mohan, head of YouTube. Now, the moment. <laughs> Look, there's little, there's a little tear already in here. I'm glad this is covered. Now the box is empty. Excuse me while I just pull myself together a little. Oh. La, the moment of truth. Well, you, you'll actually be able to see my little setup. <laughs> Look, that's you guys, right there. This is it. This is my, my silver play button. This is what it looks like from the front. This is it from the sides and from the back. Looks like I can hang it up and it's presented to me for passing 100,000 subscribers. I, I'm so thankful. Thank you so much for making this possible. I remember watching YouTubers back in the day. I remember watching, one of them was PewDiePie. I, I just remember watching them and seeing them unbox their creator awards. And I remember just thinking, if I can ever do that, I would be so happy. And now I did it. I unboxed it and my inner child is super happy. I think that's why I'm crying. I don't think I can say much more except thank you so, so much. You've made you made it so fun to be on YouTube and I owe it to you guys. This this is ours. It's not just mine. And I'm yeah, I'm, I'm just really thankful. So I'm going to go and cry and punch a wall after that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, okay? I, I love you all and... <laughs> Oopsie, <laughs> what happened there? Did, did you also feel the tension? What? That's crazy. Thank you so much. I'm gonna stop slapping this. I'm, I'm just gonna... Boop. Oh, that? That blurry thing that you can't really see anymore? That's my creator award. That? That little bad boy? Oh my god, I can't. I, I think I just went... Just a roller coaster of emotion. I'm still processing. I... I'm really happy. And with that, it's time to say goodbye. God, why does that keep happening? So weird. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, yes, bye. I don't know how to end this. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna edit this like I just disappeared. And yes. Woo! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I tripped. That's it. That's the sign to end it all. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you!